I didn't leave the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party left me, is a famous quote that I saw much repeated in 2016, though I'm not sure everyone knew who originally spoke it. I, in fact, didn't know until I researched some background for this video. Reagan was an actor, in fact, president of the Screen Actors Guild in the era of McCarthy. This era, a time when actors lost their jobs because their names were being listed in the newspaper as being communist sympathizers, was when he made the shift from a more liberal ideology to solid conservatism. Initially speaking in favor of free speech, he came around to recognizing the dangers of leftist infiltration of our institutions. McCarthyism, in light of the current decade, seems to have aged like fine wine. Reagan became governor of California following his film career, and then ran a failed presidential primary campaign against incumbent President Gerald Ford, who then lost the general election to Carter. Carter, in turn, was seen to be an ineffective leader. This was especially highlighted in the final year of his term by the Iran hostage crisis. Iranis protesting the shielding of their former corrupt CIA plant leader by the U.S. from prosecution in his home country, raided and overran the U.S. Embassy in their nation. The staff there were held hostage for over a year. All that year, daily news updates informed the TV-watching population of the situation. With the length of time the hostages were there, and with the failed rescue attempt in April being broadcast, Carter's approval sunk. Reagan won an easy election, and his reputation among the Iranis preceded him. A negotiation deal was signed on January 19th, and the hostages were flown home on January 20th, the same day as Reagan's inauguration. The president would take a similar no-nonsense approach with communists, foreign leaders, and domestic strikers. Fun trivia, Gaddafi of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi, who I made videos about on this channel, that same Gaddafi, who was overthrown by Clinton and Obama, had his Air Force base in Tripoli destroyed by Ronald Reagan's U.S. military after he funded a bombing in Europe. I do credit Reagan with bringing the Soviet Union to its knees. He recognized that the opposing geopolitical pole to the United States was already spending heavily on military military in proportion to its economy. He knew it would be easier for America to increase its military spending than it would be for Russia. He did so. Not only that, but he also successfully bluffed the Russians, advertising a Star Wars program which would consist of satellites capable of striking targets on Earth. Essentially, he was threatening the ability to hit any location on the globe with a nuclear missile. The Russians focused so much on their military and space programs in response to this that the nation bankrupt itself. The Berlin Wall fell shortly after Reagan left office. He was a tough negotiator. He successfully worked out a nuclear disarmament treaty with the Russians, and a famous quote from him which lived through the ages is, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. More relevant to the ideological development of the American right wing was Reagan's economic policy. Reaganomics was the word for it, or trickle-down economics is the term used by the left. The simplest summary I can give of this is in another famous quote from Reagan himself, government is not the solution to the problem, government is the problem. He lowered taxes and simplified the tax code in a way which favored small business, which in turn raised the average income of workers, and stimulated spending. The people who dispute this are the same people who, in 2016, wanted to double the federal minimum wage, and in 2020, wanted the government to pay off billions of dollars in student loan debt. These people say that greedy corporate bosses simply keep the profits whenever there is an increase in profits, and fail to invest the wealth back into their business or their employees. Large numbers of people who lived through the 80s will swear by the success of Reagan's economic policy, and I believe them. 